Hi there guys, Gaming UK Media here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Pixelmon 3.2.2 which is the latest update for Pixelmon um, onto the latest version of Minecraft which at the moment is 1.7.10 um, Yeah, so basically the first thing you're going to need to do is download uh, the appropriate forge for 1.7.10 So to do that you just go to Pixelmon and click on forge and you're going to be waiting for the uh, advertisements uh, you probably have something pop up here in the middle uh, but I've got ad block on so as you can see I've blocked one ad okay so just downloaded that that's the forge for 1.7.10 and the other thing you're going to need but not yet you don't really need is the Pixelmon right at the end here so you just go along and then click this download button here wait for the ad fly link and then skip it then wait for this countdown timer and then it should say something like download Pixelmon blah 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 and well, it will say this here uh, but I've already downloaded it because it's quite a big file it's like a few hundred meg or something there we go so you just click on that and then click on that okay it's 148 meg but that will take like a minute to download so I've already pre-downloaded it there and that's it for that, you don't need that anymore um, okay so the next thing you're going to want is to just drag that onto your desktop which I probably already just did yeah okay so you drag that on your desktop, you double click it and you just click install client and it will it'll automatically install it to top minecraft which is fine, just click install client Okay, yeah, it's come up with the, uh, you need to run the 1.7.10. I've got that prepared here already, so to do that, you just click Edit Profile, and then make sure you've got the release 1.7.10. I think you can just click Use Latest Version, because that is the latest version. Uh, but yeah, anyway, and you can call it whatever you like up there. I just call it 1.7.10, just to avoid confusion. And then just click Play, and it should download all the relevant files and assets and whatever folders that it needs to run. Once it's got here, you just quit the game and uh, then you then you double click the uh, thing on the what's it on the desktop and click install my bad all right yeah it should say that click OK and then when you go to here go to versions you should have it there um, and before I did uh, before I launched Minecraft a minute ago to get 1.7.10 loaded this folder would have been empty um, so yeah, that's that's what you have to do. Forge is now successfully installed. If I loaded up Minecraft right now and went into my mods folder, you would see the you would see Forge uh, mod loader. Uh, so yeah, that's Forge installed for 1.7.10. Next thing you're going to want to do is install Pixelmon. Now that's very easy. So you've downloaded the Pixelmon and it's here. And all you do is drag that file out into the mods folder but because I've already got one in there it's uh, got one on the end so just ignore that just delete it okay so you've just dragged it into your mods folder that's all you do with that and you just leave it there that's pixel one installed so if I now run run up minecraft uh, go down to edit profile and select the one right at the bottom should be there uh, 1.7.10 forge and you can literally now just rename that forge click save and play I'll be putting all the links for the uh, Pixelmon website and uh, in the description. Right, so here's what I was on about when we go to Forge. You see Minecraft Forge, Minecraft Mod Loader, and the Coder Pack. But the Pixelmon one won't be in there until you drag the Pixelmon folder into your mods folder. Okay. I've also got the uh, Shaders mod installed, but it hasn't come up because it's the wrong one. Um, my bad. So if I go into single player and just create a new world real quick, just call it Tut. Oh, T U T. Yeah, just I don't want to configure the options, it doesn't matter. I'm just showing you that Pixelmon has successfully installed. And you should be greeted with that. Just click a starter, Trigo, and bam. 
and you'll notice the uh, animation and sounds are different for the one point uh, not the one point uh, the three point two point two so uh, if, just in case you didn't notice when I check the Pokeball out it sort of like floats up and makes a noise uh, this is a really rubbish place to be spawning and yeah anyway that's uh, the very first noticeable difference in it you can also um, spawn in Rylu but I haven't I don't think I enabled cheats it's, Let's just go to options and click enable cheats. I don't even know where it is. Because <laughs> uh, I don't use the single player. Well, why would it be in there? Yeah, it might be under those. Oh, maybe I should not click that button. Oh my god, what have I done? Anyway, okay, I'm not going to enable cheats. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, Forge installed. So I'm just going to close down Minecraft. And now I'm going to be showing you how to install a, a server for the the new thing. So the the thing that you're going to need is cauldron. So I'm going to call this uh, 1.7.10 cauldron uh, tutorial. Ooh, I can't remember how you spell it. Pretty sure that's wrong. It might not be. But anyway, yeah, it doesn't matter can't be asked to uh, fiddle around with the particulars and basically you want to go to files.minecraftforge.net slash cauldron and just go to the drop down arrow and click 1.7.10 because that's the one we got and the latest one you're just going to want to be clicking installer and it's the same process again you wait for the add fly link to go over and then click skip and then it should also automatically download for you uh, it's a very small file so it should be done in a couple of seconds yeah there we go and it's downloaded. So I'm going to drag that out to the Cauldron Tutorial folder and just double click on it. And now you're going to want to install that into this folder. So go to Desktop, which is where I put mine, and Cauldron Tutorial. Pretty sure that's spelled wrong still, but oh well. And just click OK. And now it's creating libraries um, and the server for the 1.7.10. It's actually taken a while. Shouldn't didn't take me this long last time, but yeah, never mind. It's uh, creating the libraries and everything, which is the things that we need for the holder and server. Okay, so while you're waiting for that, you could um, look for the uh, the batch file that we're going to need to create in a moment. And I've already got the, what mine's called in here. So this is the information for the batch folder that you're going to need. I will copy and paste this into the description um, so you you know what to put if it happens to be a different version of cauldron that you're installing say you wanted to do 1.7.2 then you basically just change this bit here up until the dot jar at the end and um, yeah you just copy and paste out the cauldron bit there also if you want to enable the server to be cracked just uh, get rid of this true here and set that to false and then you can have a cracked server okay so I'm going to copy this don't need that anymore. I could have just copied the whole folder, but I'm trying to show you what to do here. Okay, so that's done. Next thing you want to do is go down to here, click New, Text Document, double click on it, copy the thing from the description, and that should be correct, but just to make, just to ensure it is correct, click on the server.jar that you're using, click Rename, and copy that out. Just, just copy it out, and uh, place it here. So you delete that and then you paste it in there. Also you can change the colors, the color of it, which is uh, really strange. I've never actually had that option before. So at the moment we got it set to 1, which in Minecraft is obviously blue, and then F is white. So we could change that and we could have it, um, I don't know, let's change it to red and uh, Red and white. We'll leave it as white because I can't remember what any of the other color codes are. I'm pretty sure B is a color, but I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah, but anyway, you're going to save it. And close it. Don't need that anymore. Oh shit, no, that's what, I mean, no, that's not what I was meant to do. Uh, my bad. You're going to go to File, Save As. And you're going to call it run.bat or whatever you want to call it, .bat. Make sure it's called .bat and 
that you set the file type to all files and then just save it in there. I have to excuse my language, I forget where I am sometimes. Delete that text fo folder, you don't need that anymore, and then you're just going to hit run. And as you can see, it's now red. Um, and I'm running a non cracked server, so it's the only options you'll get at the moment. And it will start generating files inside. Uh, just a quick note if if you get this error here, just click OK, and it says here you need to agree to the, um, I think that stands for something like European legislation. Um, something or other and basically you just click enter and go to into this file here and then just change this to true uh, and that accepts the terms and agreements and then now you should just be able to run the server exactly the same and as you can see here I've got up here XMX 6144 MB, which is four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it, you know that really is recommended for Pixel One servers, but you can run it on less than that. Um, I've had servers running Pixel One Cauldron uh, variation on about a gig stably. Uh, any less than that, you start to get chunk loading errors and all sorts of dodgy commands. Anyway, so it's now generated for me um, some spawn areas in a world. Um, so yeah, and that is pretty much it. If you want to test that, just load up your Minecraft. And yep, so you make sure you're running the watch version of 1.7.10. Hmm, there is one thing I've uh, actually forgotten to do. And that is literally as easy as going back to here and dragging the Pixel One mods into the mods folder. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to um, run Pixel One at all. Um, so yeah, just remember that. I kind of forgot myself almost. Uh, and then obviously you're going to need to reload the server. I'm not sure you can reload. Uh, can't on 1.6.4 anyway. Yeah, there we go. So you basically, you've just got to stop it and. Uh, just reload it again once you put that mods folder back in. I wondered why it was looking just a tad bare when I uh, selected it. Oh, it will start spawning all the Pixel One stuff. It should it should say things like um, accepted permission node slash pokeheal and things like that. Yeah, there we go. There it all is. And that should be done. You should just be able to join it now. And to test that, just go to direct connect and yeah that was a server I was testing to see if it was up earlier and you just want to type in localhost everything correctly it will log you in with this screen as usual and I'm just going to click uh, I don't know let's go with Charmander apparently he looks different in this version uh, new skin uploaded so oh it's nice to see the mobs are spawned in as well that uh, didn't happen on my other server. Charmander. Okay, yeah, so he looks uh, mostly the same. Can't really tell with all this wild grass, but uh, apparently he has new animations. Maybe he'll like, just think cool, like brief fire or something. I don't know. Oh no, he sort of like wobbles his head. That's interesting. Never did that before. Anyway. So that's how you successfully create the MCPC bucket server. As you can see at the moment, I've got no mods installed. It's literally just default bucket. Uh, so yeah, that is how you install it. Basically, after that, you just drop drop your bucket plugins into the plugins folder and configure them the same as usual. The only thing is, is because it's a Cauldron server or MCPC Plus server, you cannot actually. Um, I'm going to close my graph. It's driving me crazy. You cannot actually. Um, do reload as, as I demonstrated there. Uh, yeah, can't reload, which is a real pain uh, when you're trying to configure plugins correctly. It means you have to restart the server all the time, uh, which is why the uptime on uh, very popular servers can be quite, you know, not 99 sort of percentage. It could be like an 80% sort of gray area um, because of the amount of times that it has to 
restart to reconfigure a broken plugin or just to fix certain marginal errors that might be present in a yeah might just be present in a server or if they want to change something in the pixelmon configs uh, in the pixelmon database sorry you know so you know a different pokemon drops a different loot or a pokemon that didn't drop a loot now drops a loot or if you want to stop spawning in a pokemon then yeah you have to restart your server it really it really is a pain um, so yeah anyway guys that's my tutorial on how to install pixelmon uh, 3.2.2 for Minecraft and how to set up a MPCP plus and a cauldron server. You know, I really should get used to calling it cauldron because um, it's not called MCPC plus anymore. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked my tutorial video, I know it was a little bit all over the place, but you know, it was very rushed and all that sort of jazz. Anyway, cheers for watching and uh, good luck with your server.